This morning in our series On the Money, how to pay off those credit card bills before getting into the annual holiday shopping. The Federal Reserve here in New York says Americans own more than one trillion dollars on their credit cards. Here to tell us how to chip away at that number, we've got CNBC senior personal finance correspondent Sharon Epperson. Sharon, good to see you. Good to be here. So a lot of people say, well, it's October, plenty of time before the holidays, but you say now is the time to start pulling down that credit card debt before you start adding to it. Absolutely, especially if you're carrying a balance month to month, because on average, people are carrying about $6,000 month to month on their credit cards. And the rates on credit cards, the interest rates, are over 21%. Wow. Some new cards, nearly 25%. Some cards, mm. 30%. So if you're paying that much to borrow money for things that you need, mm -hmm. borrowing it again for the holidays, you right. need to get rid of that. So you got some money moves to help pay off those credit cards going into the holidays. Yeah, one of the first things you need to do is know what those interest interest rates are that you're paying right now. They're probably higher than when you first took out that card and also understand what the balance is on each of the credit cards you have. You know you have the debt, but you really need to know what you owe. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your credit report and also um, your credit score. And the credit report and score are really important because people think, I don't want to pull my credit report because it might cost me money or hurt my credit score. It will not. You can get a free copy of your credit report every week from each every of the, week? Every week now from each of the three main credit bureaus, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, by going to annualcreditreport.com. That is the place you want to go to make sure that you're getting a free copy of your credit report. It won't have your score on it, but it will tell you maybe there's some errors there that could be impacting your score and then you can work with the credit agency to fix that. In terms of getting your credit score, also look for that for free on your actual credit card bill. Many of the yeah. card issuers now have the, mm -hmm. your credit score right there and they even give you some suggestions on what you can do to raise that score. Okay. Using less than 5% of your available credit is one of the best ways in addition to not missing any payments. Where is the line between taking a loan or maybe doing one of those balance transfers? How do you know which one you should do? Well, if you can do a 0% interest balance transfer card, that's absolutely what you want better to do. Better than the loan? It's better than the loan because it's 0% interest. Yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure that you can do that for 12, 15, 21 months even, but then that rate's going to change and you want to make sure you've paid off that credit card before that rate changes. The personal loan, if you don't have a really high credit score, maybe you don't qualify for a 0% interest balance transfer card, you might want to do a personal loan at, say, 12%, some as low as 8% for over 24 months. You just consolidate all the card debt by taking out that loan and paying off all those credit cards and then doing installment payments on that loan. Hmm. Interest rates are so, so high. It, can you just, like, call the credit card company and just say, can we lower this a little bit? It, it never hurts to do that, and too many people don't. But mm. those who do, about three-quarters of them actually get their really? credit score lowered, according to one report. Mm -hmm. So it's important to just call and ask. It doesn't hurt to do that. And if you have a lower rate, that's saving you money right there. Mm -hmm. So whatever you can do to try to work with your creditor, maybe even work with the creditor, say, I can pay you this lump sum. It's not the full amount, but it's something I can pay right now. Can you settle my credit right now that way? That's one way to do it mm -hmm. as well. But if you settle the debt, could, could there be a tax hit? There could possibly be a tax hit on that money that you didn't pay and that's forgiven. So you want to watch out for that. You also want to watch out for those companies that say they'll do it for you. Right. It's probably better to do it yourself. Mm -hmm. And so once you've picked a, a responsible uh, repayment strategy, do you just stick with it? You have to. Okay. There's no there's no quick fix. You know, we're talking about trying to do this before the holidays, but it probably took you a lot of months mm -hmm. to rack up that credit card debt. And it's going to take you a long time to get rid of it, but maybe not so long if you take some of these strategies. Some people say, I just want to pay the highest amount balance that I have and get that over with. That's called the avalanche method. That may work for some people. Other people like those small wins. They want to just do yeah. a little bit at a time. That's the snowball method. There's no right method. The right method is to stick with the right strategy. Right. That's yeah. the method. Right. One of the things we always enjoy about your, your insight is you provide personal financial advice to all of us as well. And apparently you do the same thing for family. We, I saw your Instagram posts either yesterday or early this morning. I guess your daughter sends you this text. Hi, Mom. Hope you're having a great day. Quick question. Do I have to get into my credit card bills due to pay it off, or can I do it before then? And you didn't even respond. You said, this message made my... Oh, that's so oh, It totally did. I mean, sometimes, you know... 
I'm not always smiling when I'm talking about credit cards. No. Yeah. Especially not in my house. But they're so the fact that they're listening. The fact that she's listening meant so much. Yeah. She's starting out on her own, and she has her first card, and that's she's awesome. like, I don't want to carry this balance. That's, that's so Financial sweet. Financial freedom, that's what I want for everybody, definitely for my the kids. The fact that she said, I hope you're having a good day. Yeah, yes. she started out. Dive right yes. into yes. it. Yes. You know, it's amazing how much <clears throat> smarter we get as our kids get older. <laughs> 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 no, Sharon, thank you so much. Thank Find you. more information on reducing debt at today.com. And and Sharon's hosting a free CNBC Your Money event on November 9th. All you have to do, sign up with the QR code on the screen or head to CNBCEvents.com and learn more ways to maximize your finances from top experts. Oh, that's great. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.